when I look at my territory, I try to align where I want to focus with small, medium, large, and extra large deals that I want to target for the year. Well, learning what those real dollars are, not what I think they are, is really helpful in executing on a sales plan. Uh, starting to think, okay, if I want to sell $2 million this year, uh, I need 4X on my pipeline. I need an $8 million pipeline. Well, divide that by, call it 48 selling weeks. Now I'm looking at, I got to drive $165,000 in pipeline every week. Well, those are real numbers that I feel good about. So Salesforce, I use for a lot more than just tracking and following up. I try to use it to have insights into my business. And that's evolved into a spreadsheet that I use called a deal horizon. Uh, and I try to plan out the year and drop in deals that can warrant, okay, this company's big enough. They have strategic initiatives to do a $300,000 deal. This company's smaller. I need to get a quick hit. I'll probably try to go and position a twenty-five dollars or $30,000 solution. Those real insights to those numbers help me create what I call a realistic sales plan and something that I can start to execute against. Perfect. So let's let's go down that rabbit hole for for sure, right? <laughs> let's let's talk about kind of the the territory planning, the goal setting, the the document that you that you use and kind of how that gets filled out and this is perfect because we're we're having this conversation in January, so there's a lot of us who are uh, in the middle or the early stages of of these, you know, folks that are on the on the sales force. Uh, fiscal year who are starting in February. I mean, this is, this is all very, very ripe. So let's go, let's go top to bottom, uh, in terms of, 